Hello. Yeah, I, I usually <laughs> start these videos uh, with me actually in the game. But um, today, today I didn't. Okay, sometimes, sometimes we do things a little bit, a little bit differently. Um, we're gonna be replaying that one mission that I failed at, um, and I will call it a fail. Um, if my main character dies, then it's a fail. I'm gonna be trying things a little bit differently, but uh, I am willing to just kind of chalk that up to bad luck. It sometimes it just goes that way. Um, I can't really do anything about a mech taking the brunt of seven other mechs constantly attacking them. And I know it was uh, there was a couple of attacks on other mechs, but mostly they were straight up picking on uh, my one hunchback. So um, we can try things again. I can try actually like booking it away if something like that happens again. Um, why? What, oh, I see. We have to take the contract again. And I do want to take the contract again. We'll do this um, hot landing. I think that's the one. This is the one that's actually... Yeah, we'll do that split. I like that split. Hunchback. Okay, yeah, this is this is our comp. Um, one thing I might change is... Oh, Behem uh, Behemoth is out of commission for a couple of days we should be able to do this i mean it's not like there's a huge influx of bad guys it's not like a massive step up there are certainly a lot of mechs don't get me wrong um but it's not horrendous um we'll do a pause here so you don't have to see the loading screen all right let's give it our best go <laughs> that made me laugh last time. Why? Like, why? That's so weird. I appreciate it, though. Roger. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, there's like uh What we could do? I mean, I did go straight for the water. Um. Seems to me destroy enemy units. We want to go to the right. There is another little bay over here, but it might be that we have a better kind of location advantage if we go uphill. On my way. Certainly we will um, have a better chance of hitting people. Um, I believe the AC, let me see here. I don't know if it's going to tell me. AC 20. It's not going to tell me, is it? Oh, here it is. Hold on. Uh, it doesn't tell me the ideal distance, unfortunately. But from what we can tell from our, our dish here, um, I believe the... It, it is a fairly short range gun. So we're going to have to be short range with at least Got a couple it. of our... I really... St I'm, the more I play this, the more I feel like I need two long range uh, mechs. I just think that there's like a high incentivization for that. Like if we had one scout with a throwaway character that I didn't care about losing, um, and they just ran around building up an insane amount of inva uh, evasion, and then, uh, you know, scouting out everyone... Oh, this sucks. Look at this. Are we just have like the absolute worst? Yeah, it's just like there's exactly enough of an incline that we can't get a, a true line of sight on this guy. I wonder if we could get somewhere better with someone else. It doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, this 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 blows. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Well, we'll shoot them anyway. Yeah, we missed. We missed with the AC-20. It's a commando. We don't have to worry too much. The fire starter is actually more of a concern. Are they close enough to torch? No, they're not. Commander. This is the... Um, oh, they built up quite a lot of ev evasion from that short little hike. So I'm actually going to forego... Oh, man... I don't know. I guess I'm too close to do an arcing shot. Can I hit them from here? I actually feel like if I go like here, 
I'll have a better chance of hitting them. I don't know how to set it so that I do an arcing shot versus a straight shot, but it's just immediately better. I just realized that the head is like very exposed. We could potentially kill this thing right here. <clears throat> Not bad. We didn't hit, we didn't kill it, but you know, close enough. Is that a 25? That looks like a 25. It is a 25. Receiving you. Okay, close enough for the short range missile. Kind of wouldn't mind splitting this shot. We can't though. Let's just kill this thing. Let's see how you like this. Done. We got a 25 moving over here. Oh, that's right. We have stuff on our left side and we don't want to be hitting, getting hit from the left side on the hunchback. So that's, that sucks. Here's our large lasers. We could start hitting the fire starter. Um, you'd think that flamer should have flamer juice, you know, flamer fuel. And you'd think that that would be very, very uh, flammable, you know, explosive. Flammable. I thought it said inflammable. I can't do it. Can't do it. All right. Um, let's, let's just um, hit him in the shoulder. I don't know. He's got, he's got that evasion. He's got that evasion. <clears throat> we hit him once. I'll take it. I'll take the once. So I do like, I'm more and more, I'm, I'm liking this idea of getting over to this bay here because a lot of the mechs over here won't be able to hit us as easily. I wish I had like a little bit of jump jets. This is like the worst positioning. Let's see if maybe we can hit that 50 ton. Oh, it's a crab. Oh, I love a crab. Um, 35, don't like it. Rather, rather go for the 45. Let's uh, go for a precision shot. Could go for that leg. Sure. Yes. Leg is destroyed and the arm. Crunch. Yeah, I figured the hunchback. Whoa, the hunchback's not getting hit. No, they didn't even like bother to show me what was going on over there. So we're going to move over here. I'm trying to get over to this bay here and we're just going to go ahead and kick this thing while it's down. Flamer crit. Oh God, I mean, this this just kind of sucks. I won't lie. The thing's gonna get back up. I feel like I should do like one sprint with the Centurion. That, the, the, the speed on the Centurion is just like awful. Got it. I'm just gonna accept a sprint and, and we're not gonna, you know, Oh, wow, they hit me quite a lot there. Commander. I don't know what's going on with the Centurion. The speed on the Centurion seems to be like actual hot garbage. Um, I'll have to look into that maybe later. But um, I'm trying to get it to a better position. All okay, that's the center torso dead on the flamer, which is good. Hopefully, oh God. They're picking on my Centurion. Because it's... I'm, I'm pretty sure that's their best target right now, if not only target. Okay, let's get that Centurion out of there. Let's do a sprint. We're not going to be able to do anything with it again, but we really need to get them over here. They're going to be best suited over here. Can we do... We can't do a jump with the Hunchback. I guess I didn't put any jump jets on it. And I'm going to be turning to heavily towards the uh, the left if I can. Um, so then we're not like fully... Wait a minute. I guess I wanted the opposite of that. It's my right side that has the gun. Is that right? Yep. I was a little bit confused there. My bad. That's fine. Um... 
what can we do here it's only got lasers only lasers so we're there's not really anything that we can hit here of meaning but i guess what we could do is uh knock off a weapon at 50 50 there isn't really any advantage here so we'll just like shoot something called shot left torso i don't know if we actually hit it Ready for orders. we'll do another called shot we hit it i think we hit it in the left torso that was some good shots right there we didn't break it off unfortunately the, the uh, arm i mean yeah yeah um well this is our large laser centurion just trying to direct our armor towards the left side so that you know we distribute the damage a bit better and we'll just shoot it the crab i mean we hit it twice we still haven't exposed it i really kind of do want a crab i don't think they're particularly better than anything we've got they just they're just cool and they seem to have some really good armor the, this is the second time I've encountered one and they they are seem to be really hard to take out Also, this one is got two lasers two large lasers. I should say Which is uh, you know, that's that's really nice Okay, we're able to actually reach the water which is nice Um, our I wonder if actually uh, it doesn't matter. That's a 25. Let's just try and kill this thing. I say kill it. We might actually kill it. It's a lot of the damage has been spread out. Alpha we did not kill it. Good to go. So this is the short range. We should have a pretty good chance of. Uh, Wow, that center torso is, it's just, it's, it's still there. It's still got armor. Confirmed. Some good hits, good hits. It's finally exposed. Crab really is just taking, taking a lot. We have lost a bit of armor on our right torso, which is exactly what we want to avoid. So I'm going to try and lean our left side out a bit. nice that was a good hit center torso destroyed it might be that i want to i want the hunchback to go last more often um for exactly what just happened is it might be better hitting something exposed or have a better chance of killing something um so we've got our laser centurion could just like peek our head see what we got here take a shot we don't have a great chance of hitting it, but we need to, you know, shoot at something. We hit it once. I'll take it. And we can hit it with the long range now. And this is the problem with peeking our head, of course. Okay, they missed with the PPC. That's, there is at least that. Um, okay, we can't stop it. Let's hit it. We'll hit it with the glitch. I was, um, a little bit apprehensive about this. I think I'd actually like to move, um, Medusa back, but I guess I can't do that right now. I'm hoping that if I move them back and they can't shoot at me, they'll just move forward. And then we can reserve, see what they do, and then, you know, act accordingly. I could have done a precision strike there, and actually it probably would have paid off a bit better. Yeah, okay, so he's moving forward. That's good. Ooh, ooh, that was actually really nasty. I took a critical hit. Um, is it worth... I don't think it is. We missed with almost everything. Probably was worth a, a precision shot. Fire. 
Firing full complement on enemy. That's nice. We knocked off its right torso. Got hit with the PPC. I really need to move, move Medusa out of there. That shot went internal. Okay, we'll do this. I don't know if this tactic is really working out for me. It's. I feel like I'm ending up in a situation where they can hit me, but I can't hit them. Okay, luckily we killed that thing, even though we only hit it once. So let's see how this goes. If they can still hit us without moving right forward, then I, this is not going to work for us. Um, we could do like vigilance. I haven't really tried that. Gain guarded and entrenched and remove all stability damage. Your next initiative is increased to one, uh, by one. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, that doesn't uh, take a turn. That's a free action. Didn't know that actually. So we'll do like we'll do that for everyone. It's gonna take a bit of our morale, but I think it's worth doing. We'll gain a, an initiative bonus for everyone, and uh, maybe a bit of um, damage reduction. The only one who can't get it is Medusa. Poor Medusa always gets the rough end of the stick. I'm going to move him slightly just because I don't like his direction right now. I, I want them all facing towards the left. Okay. Um, we're going to reserve. I'll just reserve everyone until the end. See what happens. This is the first time I've had to do stuff like this in this campaign so far. So we have three mechs. You know what we could do is I think at this point we could um do some sensor locks. We've got a 55 ton. Let's uh, do a sensor lock on that guy. We got a griffin. And now we can start lobbing over. Nice hits, actually. Really decent. Yes, Commander. We can't hit them with anyone else. Just, just for the record. So we're just gonna brace with everyone else. Orders. Affirmative. What can I do for you? And we'll do much the same again. Before he moves, because um, that way they don't get the uh, the the evasion back. Could have probably done a uh, precision. That was a bit of a misplay, honestly. Receiving you. Receiving you. Um, not much else we can do. I copy. We'll just let them move forward. They should be able to hit us at this point, but it looks like they're not going to. So I'm kind of totally okay with this. They've moved out of my sensor lock. Um, so let's move forward a little bit. They can't hit the centurion here, so I'm, I, I feel like I'm okay doing this. We'll do. We'll keep doing this. I mean, this this is working out for me actually. We have an eighty percent chance on this, so we will make this a precision strike. LRM 5 PPC. Where is the LRM ammo? On the left torso, where's the PPC? On the right torso. Oh no, where is the PPC? It's on the torso? Where is it? No, oh, but where is it? <laughs> where is it? Oh, it's on the right arm. Okay. Um, we could go. Let's just go for the left torso. Not only will we hit the ammo, but also a bunch of heat sinks. So it'll make things a little bit more challenging for them. They are braced, so they are taking damage reduction. On my way. See, this is where I think having two long range mechs would actually be like ideal. Let's just reserve. They're not really moving forward. Okay, they are kind of moving forward.
Like, I can't do this forever because I only have so many missiles. I have 150 missiles left. Sounds like a lot. We will run out eventually. But still, I, I I don't hate this. This is good. We'll weaken them at the very least. 90% chance here to hit them. Structure exposed. We'll we'll do some decent damage. Um tempted on the hunchback. They've got like damage reduction, but they don't have evasion. So I could take a chance with the hunchback. Why not? 65% chance with the AC. If I can do this, I might actually take out the Griffin. Um, it's my right torso I need to worry about, so let's lean our right to the right so they have a better shot at my left side. And then we'll do a precision stri strike on the Griffin. Oh, that, that uh, torso is looking really good. A good sh hit in the torso with the AC-20, we'll take it out. Ooh! Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Shoot. Standing by. So, we may as well come out and actually, like, start hitting them. I really thought I was gonna take out... It has one health left! It has one health left. Okay, we did kill it. I I don't know. Maybe uh, that passive effect they had has that effect. Like you can you can withstand a shot like that, but that's just amazing. Uh, maybe they just got super lucky. Okay, so in this case, I am actually going to. Just lob some more stuff at the griffin um, to reduce the evasion. This should be good. Reduce the evasion and also when you're lobbing more stuff over, even if you have a low chance of hitting it, you still you're still gonna do some damage, right? Um Yeah, well can we we can't hit it at all with the shadow hawk unfortunately so we may as well do a um sensor lock this is actually better than shooting at it with a weak shot because now the evasion is gone completely okay we should be able to do some decent damage here um we could potentially knock its leg out Don't really know if that's worth it because it's this is the end of the initiative um, So it's not actually gonna do like they'll just get back up again Let's hit him in the uh, ammo All committed. I think we did hit it and uh, We knocked their arm off so this was a much much better and I mean like uh, You know, maybe maybe some of the blame is on me for letting the last one go so badly because clearly a little bit of extra, you know, forethought made this go a lot better. All nice, good shots. Hunchback still taking some damage, but we're not exposed. Oh, it's got it's got nothing left. I knocked off all of its guns. Dang. So in that case, why don't we just start hitting the vindicator? Firing everything I've got. Don't I, like I, I I'm not don't want to I want to be clear here like I don't underestimate a mech with no weapons. It can still punch you. It can still like ram you. Um, it can still do quite a lot of damage. I really wish that right click worked consistently in this game. It just doesn't seem to want to But you know, I do think that a gun with uh, Weapons is a bigger threat 
We actually have a chance to potentially kill this thing right now. Oh, we missed with the AC20. I'm uh, having I'm having some mixed thoughts about the auto cannons because it like it's really nice when you hit, but if you miss, it just sucks a lot. Jumping. Um, yeah, let's we'll just throw some missiles at it. So it is probably gonna ran. Oh wow, it ran away. Did not see that coming. Ah. Sucks missing with an 80%, I gotta say. Vindicator backing up, throwing some stuff at me, that's fine. What can I do for you? Um wow. They're actually almost out of range of uh well okay. No, they're not out, almost out of range. It's because they have so much evasion built up. Again, like, if you have a 45% chance, you're going to hit with a majority of your missiles, even with a 45% chance. I want to shoot with everything else before I do the, uh, the auto cannon. The AC-20 also seems to have a really bad, like worse than general odds of of hitting something also we're almost out of ammo on that so th that tells you just how much ammo this thing takes nice i think we actually no we didn't hit it we didn't hit it in the torso shoot i actually feel like hitting the vindicator is more meaningful at this point we hit the uh we hit the griffin with a stray shot these guys are doing a great job of avoiding, evading everything. I feel like the Griffin is almost just a, um, like, trying its best Good to, go. to, like, be a, a moving target that we shoot at. It could have done some extra damage to us. You know, it's not smart enough to, well, I mean, like, it's not suicidal, you know? 75%, that's actually not bad. Affirmative. Here it comes. LM5 crit. Thank We're at it. Oh, we have one more shot left with the uh, AM AC20. Let's make it count. Nice. There it is. So now the Griffin's going to come back in and try and like do a... You know, a desperation move. On my way. I copy. Did I miss twice? Medusa's really not doing well in that thing. Just hit it with medium lasers. Good to go. Also, I have to gauge how much uh, ammo we have left in the long range centurion because that'll give gives us an idea like this the long range centurion did the brunt oh wow they're out of ammo they are actually out of ammo they did the brunt of all of our damage destroy enemy reinforcements there's still something left wow really On the move. we are kind of running low on stuff uh, I'm gonna have the long-range Centurion actually scout ahead because like they don't have any weaponry now Waiting for orders. Where are we going Won't let us go over there Is uh what is happening? This is really weird. I... Where am I going? I 
I don't like there's no I don't see anything else on the map. Is it bugged? I read you, Commander. Moving out. Acknowledged. Enemy turn. It's says it's pretending like there's something else on the map. Oh. A fifty ton mech. Wow. Well, it can still uh, ram with the uh, long range Centurion, so it's not like it's worthless. I can't believe there's still something on the map. What is it? It's a Centurion. Waiting on you, Commander. Going turbo. <laughs> Going turbo. Waiting for orders. And we're just going to sprint over there as quickly as we can. give it as many targets to shoot at as possible is it it's actually like out of rain out of bounds did this thing spawn out of bounds i think it did it's like literally technically out of the bounds of of the mission i feel like it couldn't actually move into the mission because of that so i think the game actually did bug but in a way to our advantage Commander. Move order received. if i get another centurion i might have to put another centurion on the on the team we could just like go full centurions i do really like it it is they are like basically my favorite mech right now anyway i fully believe that there will be a more a, a bigger favorite later you know it's not even firing on us huh yeah this was a this was definitely not like not working as intended <laughs> Well, uh, last mission or last attempt, we got very unlucky. So this time we got very lucky. I'll take it. Mission successful. Cool. Um, we didn't complete our like secret mission. That's fine. Um, no one lost anything. There are repairs to be made. We did get a lot of experience. Okay, what do we want? I think I want the griffin. Kind of really want the crab. We might get the crab anyway, at least a crab part, but I do want the griffin. <clears throat> There's actually two different griffin parts up for grabs right now. Collect. So we got, we did get the centurion part, which is really nice. And we got the griffin part, and we've made a griffin, which is a 55-ton mech. Very nice. We'll have a look at maybe how we can equip that. Griffin 1Ns use their jump jets to stay at range and pelt their opponents from relative safety. 1Ns can run hot if they spend all their time bounding around the battlefield taking pot shots, though. Okay. Um... Well, let's see uh, if anyone can... Like, that was enough XP, I think, to get something meaningful. We can go one up on... Uh, Cold Shot Mastery. I mean, that's really good. Mech warrior training. Commander. Decker is just 100 points shy, unfortunately. As is Glitch. Good to go. Um, Medusa can buy stuff, but I don't want anything else, really. Behemoth would have had enough if she could have gone on that mission, but that's fine. I, I like having a fifth mech warrior that can, you know, do stuff. And uh, let's have a look at that griffin. We'll do repairs. Uh, does this centurion need to be... Oh, I guess we lost a heat sink. That's fine. We have tons of heat sinks. Oh, it says we can repair it? I don't know why we couldn't have. 
I don't know. That's that's a weird one. I'm not sure why that's costing us thirteen thousand. Oh, whatever. Um, the blackjack is damaged. I don't know when that happened. And now let's look at the griffin. So it's got missiles, support, one laser, three lasers actually. And right now it's equipped with a PPC. So let's just go ahead and see what we can do with this thing. Um, we could do three missiles. So this could be another long range, um, mech. We could, uh, we can't really do three L LRMs, unfortunately. Can't remember. The LRM fives are um, two each. LRM ten is five. So it is better to do like multiple fives and a fifteen, maybe. So we could do something like this if we wanted to. Um, not terrible. Or I think if we went one LRM fifteen and one LRM ten, that wouldn't be bad. And then throw on some ammo. Now we're overweight, but uh, this thing is not terrible. I don't know. The Griffin feels a little, uh, I don't know, disappointing in some ways. I was expecting some a, a little bit more. It could go, um, we could go heavy lasers with it. Let's just have a quick look at what, um, like, say, again, I kind of want to try this PPC thing. Nah, not going to work. Something eventually will be able to have, take two PPCs. Not there's not really any reason why we have to go two. We could do like one PPC and an LRM15, but then we also have to put on uh, ammo. We could do L PPC and two LRM5s. What about three LRM5s? That's not bad. That could work. And then we got to slap some ammo on there. Um. We will be overweight and the PPC does generate quite a lot of heat. Let's see what this looks like. Not terrible. Let's try it. I want to try this. I want to try a PPC and LRM ammo. They, they do kind of synergize. They're both fairly lar long range uh, weaponry. Have a quick look at the store. I don't know if I've checked the store yet. We have the awesome. I've seen that awesome a lot of times. I do kind of want to buy that awesome part. Um, we have a Centurion A. Quick draw, we have no parts. Griffin, we have no parts. The Griffin seems okay. I guess it's supposed to take jump jets. I should be putting jump jets on it, but I the way I, I guess I want to play it is long range. I do want to have a second long range mech. I just think that that is... Um, a good thing to, to, to have. So, um, we're going to have to wait for at least a few days, at least for, let's wait for behemoth to get back into action. Uh Oh, what? Darius demands the first agenda item in the morning briefing commander. I've secured an invitation to the black markets here in periphery. Yang claps Darius on the back. About time. You've been haggling and calling in favors for months. It was kind of like you enjoyed it. Darius smirks. Who, me? Well, persuading, persuading that cabal of crooks, merchants, and politicians wasn't boring. Samir cuts through the joviality. Don't forget the pirates. Your cabal may vote us in, but our history with their primary customers is setting our membership fee. Dr. Murad frowns. Improvements to the Argo aren't getting any cheaper. Surely we can just continue looting what we need. I don't know. 2.5 million? To get into the black market? Indifferent. So if we were on better terms with the Oregon pirates, this would be much, much cheaper. But the way I see it, this is actually worth it because it means I don't have to play favorites with the pirates anymore. In fact, I think that if I was any hate more hated by the pirates, then I wouldn't have any options. So I think I kind of want to do this. It's very expensive, 
but now I can shop at the black market and I don't have to do the faction haggling with, with the pirates anymore. Um, actually amazing. So now, uh, if I go to the store, is it any different? I don't know how to access the black market now that I have access to it. <laughs> I know. Um, well, maybe we have to look at the star map. It might be that the black market's not available here. This is the first time I've looked at the star map, by the way. So this is where we are. Um, travel contract is here in Weldry. What are these? Ward, climate, water. Tropical. Is Are these where the black market is? Black market store. Okay, so that's what that symbol means. We could go here. 60,000 to get there. Um, check out the black market there. But it's just going to be a separate store, so we're always going to want to check out Black Market if it's available. But let's check it out. We're going to have to wait a little bit anyway. But we're back in, like, dangerous territory in terms of our costs. So our next mission isn't going to have to be for money again. I'm going to start doing more normal payouts because we were... I think we're okay for morale. Like, we, we are really okay. <laughs> Okay, all our mechs are in good order. Our um, Argo upgrade is almost done. We're doing another jump. This is a, the first time I've actually traveled for any purpose other than missions. Uh, we might have other missions available to us once we get there. Work on our Argo upgrade. Improved automation is complete. We've arrived at Ichlangus Visit Store. Let's see what the store looks like. So we've got an awesome part. Really nothing has changed in this regard. Uh, but we can look at the black market now. What do we have here? We've got another awesome part. We've got a Banshee part. Uh, we've got a Battlemaster part. Wow, the crab is really expensive. And this is only the salvage. Like, we would have to buy three of these. Oh, I see. So, because our reputation with the pirates are so bad, they're upping, they're jacking up the price on everything. If I had known that that was um, going to happen, I, I don't think I would have done this. Because it's a 50% like hike on everything is just like straight up not worth it. Like we can buy some cool mechs if, for 15 million credits, maybe. Highlander, 90 ton mech. We can at least kind of look at some of the mechs that we can, you know, later. I, I, I like the, Zeus looks really cool. ER PPC, ER. Oh, those are extended range. Cyclops. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I regret. We could buy for our trouble this AC-20, but it's going to cost us basically all of our money. Like, we won't have much of a buffer left. Uh, yeah, I, I have a high regret. I kind of want to load, to be honest. Like, you, you can question me on this one. Let me see. Check out checkpoint financial report. Auto event resolved. Uh, event resolved. Yeah, th that's just when I did the event. Manual Panzer. That was the yeah. I think that's after I already completed, or before I completed that last mission. 
Well, that really sucks. We just lost 2.5 million for basically nothing. Like, I can't, I can't uh, afford anything. Maybe I can in the future. Maybe it's worth doing some... We could do some missions for the pirates. I mean, there is that. But even if I do, um, that doesn't change the fact that I lost 2.5 million. Because if I had, you know, gotten our reputation up with them in the first place, then I, it wouldn't have been 2.5 million. It would have been, like, less than half of that. So that sucks. Um, really badly. So we're just going to do a mission um, and, and just kind of... Oh, I see. We have to do this with uh, a random squad. I think I, I did this on my own. And it was actually a really funny mission. It was actually quite a lot of fun. Um, they give you three random mechs. This is a training mission, basically. You're training these uh, three new fresh pilots. And... Um, then you get attacked, right? Uh, and the three, the three pilots actually have some pretty funny characterisms. Um, but yeah, you get, you're get you given three random mechs and then the one mech that um, you can bring along. So I've got the Hunchback, which is nice. But um, I still have to control three, like, fairly shoddy mechs. And, you know, like, they're, they're basically lightweights. Anyway, I'm going to do a pause here. We'll, we'll uh, skip the loading screen. All right. So we've got Burger Time, Guano, and Pontoon. I love that. I love the smell of coolant in the morning. Coolant's toxic. If you can smell coolant, you're probably going to die. Wait, um, what does it smell like? Because there is a weird smell in here. Focus, people. Commander, we're seeing engine signatures from a single lance in the AO. Should be right about here. Let's do this. It smells kind of like onions. Does, sm I does coolant smell like onions? I'll be on station, Commander. Meet me here when you're ready to leave. I love that so much. Does, it, does coolant smell like onions? So we've got... Um, what have we got? A commando, an urban mech, and a... Two urban mechs and a, and a commando. The commando is very spicy fast. It, it, it just races across the field, but, um, you know, it doesn't have a lot of firepower. In fact, none of these have a lot of firepower. The only thing that's got a lot of firepower is me. But we can, we can run real fast and see what we got. Understood. Moving. And have a ridiculous evasion. Yes, We've got a Wolverine. And, uh, another commando. That's all good. Probably will want to, uh, hit that Wolverine. Also, those, they, they do have, um... They're, they're not, like, fully armored. Their, their armor is quite low for their mech. Come on, miss. Yeah! Also, we're on a radioactive planet, so apparently um, heat is a bigger problem here. Um, can't... Okay, we, we actually should have some nice protection from that Wolverine, and then I can, like, battle this thing in peace. We don't have jump jets on this thing, which is a dang shame, because... Um, it's so light, we sh you know, we should have jump jets on this thing. We'll shoot this thing in the back. Ouch. Need something, Chief? Okay, we can shoot this thing from behind. Can we do a better jump? Yeah, actually, that's much better. This little rinky dink urban mech has an AC 10. Kind of insane, actually. Yo, that was fantastic. Commander? AC 10 packs a punch. Again, we have to worry about our heat a little bit. Copy that, Commander. So we can't be doing like big jumps all over the place. We have some a pretty good line of sight on this Wolverine. 
what's it got ac5 srm6 medium laser its ammo is on its arm heat sink heat sink srm ammo on its torso let's do left torso nice nice So it's gonna come up, probably shoot the hunchback, that's fine. Hell yes. Everyone's inspired. I'm here. We could just like start kicking and punching it. But we got an AC ten, we may as well use it. Let's hit it in that right torso and knock off its the rest of its armor or uh weapons. I have to do these jumps if I want to use all of our weaponry and I do want to use all of our weaponry. It's still a Wolverine Let's see how you like this. Okay, I mean we should just be able to knock it out of the park here all weapons committed. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. We did not kill it kind of surprised was this thing's actually got quite a lot of weaponry so that might do it. Yeah, there we go. I just got a Chivo. Destroyed 50 mechs. I've got a blip coming in low and fast. Looks like a leopard making a drop. Expect company. The primary targets are down, Commander. You can evac at any time. Okay. What is that? Oh, I just realized by doing that, did we just take a bunch of damage? Yeah, I just like a hundred percent thrash that thing by accident. Oops. Really didn't mean to do that. Confirmed. Commander, remember the leopard I mentioned? Looks like they dropped another mech, a big one. Big? What, what does big mean? I don't want to die. A target is optional, Commander. If you don't feel these trainees are up to it, head for the evac LZ. Um, I mean, I do want to take it. What is it? We don't know yet. Waiting for orders. Burger time should be able to get a, a line of sight on it. It is a Thunderbolt. Would love to get some Thunderbolt parts. Okay, we're going to do a jump over some of this hazard. Unfortunately, some of these mechs aren't going to be able to... Well, specifically mine is not going to be able to do that jump. Okay, I'll accept this. I'll probably take a shot uh, at our little dude here. Maybe? No? Okay. I seem to recall... I mean, this guy's got a lot of firepower, but I seem to recall doing this mission. They don't tend to want to use it. Um, I really don't like... You know, our, our dude here is rather exposed. And this thing can really take it out in, like, one one nasty punch. And it can't jump. So I kind of just want to run away. I know that sounds crazy, but... I want to provide a better target. And, um... Take it out. I don't think I want anyone else to even like look at this thing. I'm here. It's too bad we can't do a sensor lock with anyone else. <laughs> I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. Oh, oh god. Don't do that. Armor blow through. Internal damage. We're just gonna we're not gonna waste time about this thing. 
82 on the center. Oh, that's where all the ammo is. We could get a lucky hit. No, we can't. It's got too much ammo. Or, sorry, armor. Medium lasers on its left torso. This thing is very well armored. I mean, I'll do what I can. This is gonna, it, it's gonna take a, a few hits. Wow, I can't hit it. I'm not close enough. Okay, there we go. That jump will, will do it. I'm hoping that if I wear down its center torso, um, I can maybe kill it on the, the next turn with uh, my mech. We are hitting it pretty hard. Standing by. Affirmative. Okay, so we did actually expose it now. I just need to pray. No. Damn it. I'm wounded. Yeah. Honestly, we got really lucky there. Okay, now if I can hit it with the precision strike, oh, it, I should have hit it with everyone else. It's got, it's got evasion. Shoot. I can't, I can't uh, undo that now. I'm going to just be firing on it at a loss. We have to just hope this hits. It didn't, it didn't hit the torso. Did it not hit the torso? 50, it's got 50 left. I mean, we, it's not impossible for us to kill this thing with what we've got here. But we don't have precision strikes. Ah, we did it. Nice. Oh, managed to wipe out the op four. I can do an extract now. That was a uh, pretty, pretty touch and go. Contract payout increased by only 10%. Come on. I, that was, like, very lucky. I guess we did get... We did damage some of these uh, little guy mechs, but still. So we are going to take that Thunderbolt. We all... We always get the other... The, the one we don't want. I wanted that Wolverine. That Wolverine was a... Uh, potentially a good one although i think 55 tons is kind of an uncomfortable area to be in um like it it seems to be a growing pain zone because it's it's you know kind of better than like a mediocre mech but not enough to make a big difference lady arano's contract to liberate house carosas is ready for review in the command center we should follow up when you think we're ready Well, um, I do want to do some more contracts before we do that. Kind of wouldn't mind doing some pirate contracts. Not sure how we can go about doing that. We probably need to move again, like, away. Um, we're not going to do another one on this episode, though, just to be clear. It may be that we have to move. Oh, we are. Are we in pirate country? Hard to tell, honestly. I don't think there is such a thing as pirate country. Active factions. Okay, I mean, we can click on... I wonder if we just, like, click on these. Okay, so active... Fa if we go, like, here, challenge level is much higher. I do want to take challenge level into consideration. If we went to Pan back to Panzer, um then we could possibly do some missions for pirates i don't know who would uh you know we might sacrifice some reputation from someone else but uh i'm gonna have to be okay with that i bought the black market i want to make use of it at this point By your command. i know it's like a really bad excuse but like 
if I like, I really thought that if I had bought access to the black market, then it just means access to the black market and that our re faction reputation doesn't mean anything anymore. But the fact that there's a 50% price hike because we are not on good terms with the pirates means like it was just a waste of money. So rather than like keep it a waste of money, I'd much rather keep our access to the black market and make it worth something by increasing our faction reputation with the, the, the pirates. So that's my weird logic. Um, and I mean, like, it is worth it. Um, there's some genuinely amazing mech parts. Okay, so we're still five days away from Panzer. Um, is there anything else that we need to do? Do we need to repair anything? Didn't I should have checked that first, huh? This is our Jenner. Jenner, I'm not selling it just yet. I still think that it might be worth keeping. Might hire someone new at some point. Um, let's not look at the contracts just yet, actually. Let's just continue on our way. Oh god, the game is a little sluggish sometimes. Um... Dr. Murad's voice call calls out to you from across the hall. Over here, Commander, near the lockers. When you round the corner, you find her, Decker, and something that looks suspiciously like a moonshine still. Dr. Murad looks at you, a slight frown on her face. This mech warrior was just explaining to me how he came to build a device to make, what was the term, engine room a rust gut? Decker looks chagrined, but defends himself with, I was just trying to make some money and maybe have a bit of fun. We're all going a little stir-crazy. Yeah, I'm going to move this still to the kitchen. Dismantle the still. Yeah, I figured that was going to kill morale. Um, That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. That morale is expensive, though. Probably you should have just like let whatever damage come because I'd rather pay for the damage than have to pay for more morale. We'll have a quick look at the store, although I think I've already seen the store several times. Yep. I sure have. So let's check out our contracts. Oh, we can't even take missions for the, the pirates right now. Well, I mean, that kind of settles that. Um, that was a complete waste of money. Oh, well. Lesson learned. I won't do that again in the future. Um, there might be a way to take missions from the pirates or do something for them, but, uh, I, I don't know what that is at this point. It might be that we just can't and we just, you know, the black market serves as a very expensive shop that we can maybe make use of occasionally. But, um, as it stands, I, I think it was a waste and I didn't know is my best excuse. So, um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.